Okay, should be live, I assume. Go find. They all met like three times in a row, damn. Okay. Hey, I'm gonna be doing some Valhalla again. Come join us as we go through the Christmas Mega Christmas Party. Christmas Party. Hello, hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Anyone who's joining in. Just sending out some of my usuals. Notifications for folks and for people. I sure people are interested in what they are interested in. Okay, there we go. Cool, cool. Ooh, my viewer thing is being weird. There we are. Alright. Why is my game not showing? Should be showing. Uh, it's because I haven't adjusted it for a while. Yeah, that's, that's of course what it is. I haven't adjusted it for a while. There we go. All right. Hello, welcome. Uh, if it would actually show me my stupid game. Hold on. Uh, making sure that I am actually doing good. Hello, hello. Am I doing good? Can people hear me? There we go. I can in fact be heard, I do believe. Cool. Okay. Here we go again, ladies and gentlemen. We are going to be playing some more Valhalla. If you guys haven't heard of this game before, it is a uh, online bartending game. Did I do the right number? I probably did not do the right number, did I? No, I did not. Eh, I'm a dum dum. Uh, hold on. Let me see if I can fix that number real quick. Um. Yeah, so I'll go to Berg Dark Corner. Thank you. Take me where I wanna go. Show me who I wanna be. Oh my god, why is it not letting me change my freaking name? Mm. Ah, here we are. Uh, tch -tch. No, that did not work. Ah, this is what works. Number eight. Here we are. Stop that. Hmm, okay. Number eight. There we go. Okay. I said stop that. <laughs> Sorry for being a little bit late, folks. I had to do prep some stuff for dinner, as well as a few other things. Uh, and I currently have my food right next to me, actually. I'm currently eating a, uh... Oh, if I could define what this is. Uh, this is good old-fashioned, uh, eggs. Uh, scrambled eggs, specifically. So... We'll see how it works with me actually eating while we play. Get this thing to run in the goddamn background. That would be fantastic. Now, I want you to run in the background, you fool. Alright. Yes, go ahead and start. Da -da -da. Load. Load. Still trying to get everything working on my phone. Phone is a very annoying and tedious way to get things to work, I have found. And it does not like to work very well, I've noticed. So, we are trying our best. Let's see what's going to work. No, I need I need you to play in the background, you donkey. Ah, there we go. Now it wants to play in the background. Fantastic. Alright. Pull up this, which is fine. All right, so we are currently in day 13. Why do I have two separate ones? Hmm. Well, that's weird. I normally don't. Maybe I like misclicked or something. Mega Christmas. 
that's the day that we're currently in. So, yeah, as I said before, if you guys have not seen this game before, it is a um, bartending cyberpunk futuristic game of sorts. So hopefully you guys are interested. And if you guys have not seen, I am now an affiliate with Twitch. So I'm very happy about that. We are slowly getting everything going, and you guys are the main reasons for it. So happy days, happy days ahead. Let's see how this goes. Jill. Hi. Hey. Am I doing this on the right day? I am doing this on the right day. <laughs> day two, when we're receiving mysterious messages. I think we talked about this one already. Maybe. Not sure. The messages have suddenly stopped and everything is normal again. Still, we can't stop wondering what's the deal. Was it a prankster or someone who just discovered how to subvert public communication channels alone? Either way, some reports indicate that lone behavior has been rather unusual as of late, although we can only imagine the confusion they were going through. Not the first time. Let's not forget that something similar happened five years ago when lone advancement was, was at its historic high. Unfortunately, nothing came out of it. What will happen again? Time will tell. Or a spooky. A bit, you yeah. know. Is it sexist to have an army on of robot women? Whew. The ones without artificial intelligence, mind you. I'm King the West, Kanye. From the western nation of Kanve Kanyevina. Just as approximately 6,000 robot soldiers, all of, which, all of whom look like the hottest girls around. But was this show of quirkiness from the wacky director Dictator Promimag? Is it showing that I'm on the right number yet? Did I actually do that? Um, am I dumb? Oh no, I think I did it. Yeah, okay, cool. It's, it's showing the right one. Hopefully. Let me know if it doesn't. <clears throat> um... These dictators from Venezuela, or whatever, just do what they want. They don't give a shit. Uh, Mariana Zimmer, 35, told Gawk meant to die during a street interview. They were all pretty hot, though. If I was him, I would've done the same. Why bother with the real thing when you can just make them from scratch to match every needs? Morris will investigate. Jill, I'm pretty sure Kan- Kanye Vinya went through demilitarization before. Yoru Yorhi. Yoru? Yoru? Yoru Yoru? It's the best show this season. If you weren't a fan of Yure or Slice of Life shows already, then prepare, be prepared to join the Moe Church uh, this season with the premiere of Yure Yuri, one of the funniest shows I've, been, I've seen in recent years. The powers of the, uh, the popular Danger Yu form seem to be divided, though. This is such obvious pandering. Remember when anime was about women doing womenly things and beating the shit out of each other? <laughs> what is this trash? You girls are just haters who hate their lives. I'm gonna marry S uh, Shinyatsu. Wake me up inside. Oh, that one's old. That's an old reference. You can catch YY every Friday on ISTV. For I want to watch it. Jill. Anime is for nerds. Want it? I am a nerd then. You cheese biscuit. All right. Well, 500, 350, 350. 1,500, 500. So we'll go with the 350 for now. And we'll go with this one. That way we have we have some money in the back. Sunday, December 25th. Good evening. I'm gonna put my water. There we go. Jill. Uh, Jill, I told you come in the nicest clothes you have. You came in your uniform. These are the nicest clothes I have with me. Besides, you and Gil are in, your, are in your uniforms, too. Well, I can't really show up in casual clothing. I'm being monitored. What about the kilt you wore that one time? I'm still surprised that one didn't break the dress code somehow. And you, Gil? I don't have that many clothes to begin with. You people depress me. Well, everything's in place back there. Ah, almost here. You know, there was a time when people greet each other, greet others before saying stuff like that. Come on, Jill, greet properly. Welcome to Va- wait. <laughs> Man, if that's not a sign that you need to ease up on the work, I don't know what is. 
Shut up, it's being on my reflex. Wait, Alma also came in usual attire. Why aren't you saying anything to her? Rip sweaters get a free pass. Why? Uh, silly question. Never mind. Jamie came in, uh, came earlier too. The dogs went with him to get some ice. Don't we have ice? Trying to take, uh, trying to take out of bartending station is a chore, so it's better to buy some outside. Huh. What were you doing back there, Alma? Setting up the food warmer. The what? I bought it three days ago. It's amazing. It looks just like a set of wires, but you can create a frame with them. Put the food inside it, press a button, and watch as it warms the food up like just like a microwave. It's an informer info inform hmm. In in inform miracle. Inform miracle babble. <clears throat> Ignore how I said that. Though, really useful, but tricky to handle at the same time. One wrong move and we'll be out of food for the night. Everything will be scorched in a second. Oh. So you brought in commercial stuff too? Haven't you? It's at the very least a good idea for gifts. Well... Dynamic entry! Finally, at least somebody came after me. Is it weird that I've already heard that three times in the last hour? <sighs> oh, don't be like that. She's not saying out of malice or anything, she just found it funny. You're talking- you're taking her side now? Jealous. You wish. You don't need a fight from me. We're not. I can't tell if you guys can actually hear those background noises. I live in a city, by the way. I had to take out my, uh, my, uh, soundproofing equipment. Well, not really soundproofing, but sound dampening equipment. Because we have an inspection going to be happening in a couple of days. Um, so the sounds of cars are actually much hearable now. And yes, that is as infuriating for me as it sounds. I'm go- I'll go check the microwave, uh, wire thingies. I'm starting to get hungry. Great idea. Back. Oh. Nah, hello, Jill. Soldier, you're late! AJ? See? That's how you greet people. You shut it. Hmm. I I'll- I'll go help Al, uh, uh, I'll go help Swear Pops. Something wrong. She's not good with dogs. Oh. Alright, we're all here. So we can start. Yo, Anchorage! Um, I know what I said. How's the food doing? It's doing well, but it'll take a bit. Can't you speed up? I've used those microwave wire things before. It's either warm nicely, but slowly, or burn that bitch. So how long? 15 minutes or so. Bell will ring when the time comes. We need to kill some time then. Hmm. Alright, let's play Truth or Dare. What? Now pass. Games of kids! I'm in. Sure, I'll play. Sounds fun! As long as it's a must the way for me. Now make the time pass faster. I'll play. You'll play. Oh my god, this is so cool. Alright then, pick a, uh, rules are simple. If you get picked, you pick either truth or dare. After you finish, you get to pick somebody else. We'll go like that until the food's done. What about punishment games? Those are a hassle. Just issue new questions or challenges until the other person quiet. That said, Jill! Yes! You start, pick somebody. Oh, uh, let's see. Click on the portrait. Oh, that's cool. Okay. Oh, that's really cool. I don't care at all about the doggy. I really don't. Uh, we'll go with Alma. Hmm, Alma. Let's go with truth. What's the most uncomfortable thing that has happened to those arms of yours? Uncomfortable. They get stuck a lot on clothes and fi fibers. Sometimes the joints get jammed with cloth. Just how much those arms are mechanical anyway. Less than you think. The only things I truly lost were my hands. Oh, I didn't know that she lost her hands. Oh, that's fascinating. The arm muscles are still fine, albeit with some enhancements. And my skin doesn't grow on them. They're covered by the plate. It's 
It's more enhancement than replacement, really. Huh. Well then. Hey, boss. Me? Truth or dare? Dare me. I dare you. Mm, use, an <laughs> use an Argentine backbreaker on Nick. Surely. Nick! Whoa! I give, I give! Only after you answer this. What? Does the name Joseph Valentine ring any bells? I know of a Joseph Shine, but not Valentine. Joseph Shine, alright then. I guess it's my turn now. Hey Chief, can you drop me? Oh, right. Hmm. Hey Jill, truth or dare? I'll pick dare. Pet the dog. Yeah, whatever. Come here, mutt. Yes, come on, pet me harder. Is that all you got? Ah, fuck you. <laughs> Wonder how long till the food is done. Uh, we're gonna go with boss. All right, boss, pick. Truth me. How did you get your arm? Yes, that's the question. Oh, on second thought, dare me. Mm. Lift Gil by the neck of his shirt. <laughs> okay, poor Gil. <laughs> eh? Oh, happy? I guess. Who cares? I didn't hear about your arm. I do! I care! Alright, Gil. Now that I have you in my position, answer me. I didn't pick. You're in no position to pick, now answer. Did you live in Scotland for two years? Scotland? No. I guess there rose out a couple possibilities. Um, Chief? What? Oh, right, I'm still loving you, sorry. And I should apologize. I guess it's my turn. Hey, Alma, truth or dare? Uh, dare. Oh, oh, I was just... You stay quiet. <laughs> Fine. Mm, how strong are those arms of yours? Still my muscles on them, so not very. Although not having very fleshy skin makes things easier. Wait, that's truth. Out there. I just want to make sure. I dare you to break this nut with your hands. Okay. Well, that was easy. Holy shit, Gil. Are you really into that? Yeah. Asking a woman to break a nut to her hands and then watching her eat it? Does that turn you <laughs> Wait, wait, this is actually a turn guys on. I need to know for professional reasons. <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. <sighs> You're a perfect Gilbert. Gil wait, that was close this time. My turn then, alright. Hey, Jill. Um, truth. Okay then, what's your most embarrassing childhood dream? Um, elaborate? For example, when I was a girl, I wanted to be a professional puzzle master. I guess in a way I accomplished that, but you understand. Mm. I wanted to be a ventriloquist. Huh? When I was a child, I liked the show called Lucia's Funhouse. The one the woman in the house with the talking stuff? <laughs> that one. My parents divorced when I was around six, I think. Mom was on tour with the orchestra and my dad was working constantly. I spent a lot of time with my grandpa, but he slept a lot, so I was on my own most of the time. I like to pretend things like chairs, a bed, could talk, and since Al wasn't so advanced back then, or AI wasn't so advanced back then. Anyway, two went to a magic show once and there was this guy making a puppet, puppet talk. My dad told me he was Van Traquois, so I kind of accept, uh, obsessed about being, wanting to be one. Even today, I'd be lying if I said that I, didn't, that I don't think about it every now and then. So that's why you pretend for I can talk. She what? Nothing. I'm getting hungry. Uh, we're gonna go with, with, with sweet, sweet Dorothy. Okay then, Dorothy. Dare. Do something freaky. <laughs> like removing my head? Remo removing your... Because I can't remove my head with no problem. Do you want me to remove my head? I'll, I'll pass. I'll take your word for it. Anyone want to see that? No. No, thank you. I do, but I'm not gonna be the party poop here. Fine, I guess it's my turn now. Hey, Donna, what do you pick? I'll pick Truth. If you had to marry Honey or John, who would you pick? Hmm, probably Jill. Eh? I mean, she's cute, she's smart, and I kinda own Gil anyway, so it's kinda redundant. <laughs> Oh, poor Gil. God damn. <laughs> mm. 
Hmm. Speaking of Gil, truth or dare, fuck boy. <laughs> truth or truth, fuck boy. Oh my god. Pick one for me. Well, where were you born? I don't really know. It's one of those things I can't remember or was never informed about. Strangely, I do remember an early childhood in the Arctic of all places. The Arctic? Huh. Just, huh? A bell? Food's ready. Finally. Let's go. You guys go ahead and have a quick smoke outside. Careful. Mm. Hey, Alma. Truth or dare, huh? It was fun, I guess. Hey. Oh, oh. Oh, I mean, hello. A bit late for the hello, don't you think? Want one? You know I don't smoke. True. Are you leaving already? Yeah. Technically, we celebrated Mega Christmas yesterday. But I just got a message that Dinana was making a ruckus, so I gotta leave. Good luck with that. Speaking of ruckus, how have you been doing? Fine, I guess. All that's been keeping my mind off things for a while. Is it weird to feel the absence of someone you had no contact with whatsoever for the last three years? Ask Kaisha, or any of the old literature maidens whose spouse went to war times. I mean, even if you had no contact with her, maybe she was constantly on your mind. If you tweak the circumstances, it's not that different from one of you going to war. And I guess. Well, although the circumstances may not make me want to, I've got to go. Careful out there. Oh yeah. You should take the chance to spend this time with everyone inside, don't you think? Hmm. Mm, yeah, she's right. Hey, Jill's back. I like this. This is very sweet. Oh. Okay, what's this? Fancy. Need some more of my food here. Fancy and concerning. And kind of loud. Let me know if it gets too loud for you. Oh, is this a... Oh, this is a cutscene. I guess. Is it a cutscene? Yeah, I can't. Oh, okay. I assume the weird frame stutter is uh, on purpose. Chapter 3 Deuce or Deuce? Are you kidding me? <laughs> Rent is due on the 30th. I have four days to make $10,000? Holy crap, are you kidding me? I, I have four days to make $10,000. Oh my god, okay. Jesus Christ. Model Warrior turns to TV. Anyone watching it? <laughs> Is your lip trembling? No. Oh, it's going to be censored? No. You'll, you will never discover Rule 3 for the first time again. <laughs> Sequels are shit. Okay. Gram Slam Fighters. Anyone here into wrestling? Are they forcing the American Kid? Oh, I think we already read this one. And Monster Girl, yeah. AE. Glitch City Olympics return next year. For the 10th consecutive year, the GC Olympics returns to the Embodiment Super Silver Thunderdome, this time with a representative from the elusive country of Kanye Vinya. Prime Minister Quincy, who was in charge of the committee, told the Augmented Eye that it wasn't easy getting in touch with Kanye, and that we had to abide by some of the, his religious rules in order to see some of their best competitors come to our country. Kanye Vinya's main religion, Kanyeism, prevents the existence of nanomachines inside the body, and as such, competitors from said country had to perform specific treatments in order to repel the swarm. It's a temporary solution, but it'll do the trick. I'm guessing tacky bodysuits weren't practical for sports. 
You won't believe what happens to this cartoon. Cartoons are not made for children. They are still largely colorful, but the themes they touch upon have become rather dark. In fact, every cartoon on air today is dark uh, themes. It's come to the point where innocent animated characters are no longer a thing. I suppose children are young adults from birth now? But into a touch fluffy tail, oh no, that's, that's an old reference. A new show that aims to challenge the current trend. No deep lore, no obscure doll references, no stupid deep plots, just fun with numbers and fluffy tails, said a TFT producer who asked May Namas to avoid an backlash. I don't want death threats from making a cartoon for actual kids. For a stop, Jill. If I rescued you, I'd touch your fluffy tail if I wanted. <laughs> That's bad. Street race at the Motosei uh, district leaves two dead. The Motosei district is notorious for a number of illegal street races it sees each week, and the dozens of injured drivers it leaves every year. This time, it has been reported that two people died during a race hosted the Gate Highway, otherwise known as the Death Lane. The Transit Police is currently investigating deaths, as well as the underground world of illegal street racing. We have several suspects in regards to who is running this underworld, but nothing concrete as of yet. Chief of the Transit Police Department, Jay Espacio, told the Augmented Eye, The death of these two youngsters would be the last, however. That's a promise. Joe, I've heard there's a deformation uh, campaign against the district. district. Alright, so I have to make $10,000 in... Four days. And I think I make like 1.5 a day, so I don't think by numbers that's going to work. <sighs> Good evening. Hey, Jill. Girls in the back, so I'm an ingredient shipment. Yeah, I got things to do. The dog's in charge, okay? Bye. What? Wait, the dog, what? Okay, first door to pet me. No. Pet me. No. I'm in charge, and I want you to pet me. Hmm. Yeah, same music. Time to mix drinks and change lives. Hey, Jay. Won't pet you. You'll pet me sooner or later. They all do. Won't. Will. You called? He said will, not ill. Nah. Who the hell's Will? Nobody. Don't be rude with poor Will. There's no Will. Do you need me to sack you up then? Shut up! Who? Me or Will? Ah! You about to whatever you were doing. Alright. And you, uh, stand by. Only if you pet me. Go! <sighs> Fuck just happened? Virgilio. Well, aren't we spirited today? Welcome to Vaha. Virgilio? Why do you sound so weirded out? You didn't show up with a bombastic soliloquy. Well, pulling up an act can be tiring, you know. So it's all an act, then. Wasn't as obvious. I guess. Would you mind getting me a Bleeding Jane? Sure. He wants a Bleeding Jane. It's kinda weird. Okay. One, three, three, one. Boom shakalaka. Bleeding Jane. A bleeding gem. Yes, this is just the thing. So, tired of playing on act, care to explain? It's a long story, and I'd honestly not rather not talk about it right now. Fair enough. I made you change your mind, though. Well, for one thing, it's safer for me now. The pompous buffoon act was mostly a way to avoid arresting suspicion. Safer. That's a word I've been mean. That's a word that's been me losing meaning lately. Wait, that was that was your way of avoiding suspicion? Yes. You do know how weird that sounds, right? It sounds weird. You try not to raise suspicion, but you act in a bombastic manner that screams you're there. And everyone dismisses the fool as a baboon and moves on. Hmm. Okay. I mean, you might be right if I were talking about hiding myself. But I'm avoiding certain crowds of people. Yes, my behavior might call everyone's attention, but then everyone just decides I'm harmless and disregards me. And depending on how erratic my actions are, I become harder to read, giving me yet another layer of enigma. I... huh. Well, congrats. No offense, but I fell right into your plan. I just dismissed your actions of those as a fool and moved on. You completely fooled me. Thanks. Say, can you give me something spicy? 
Sure. Something spicy. Hmm. Let's see, Mars Blast, which is also Bleeding Chain, Bloom Light. Is Mars Blast alcoholic? Well, it is. It's also blended. Uh, what's closest to Bleeding Chain? That would be Mars Blast. Let's do Mars Blast. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, one, two, three, four, two, blended. I love the music. Here. Aren't you fascinated by spiciness? What's spicy for humans might not be spicy for other animals. Hell, what's toxic for my us might not be for other animals. Do you like spicy things, Bottom? I don't mind them, I guess, but I'm not really a fan. That neutral stance is really actually weird to come across. Everyone either loves spicy things or hates them with a passion. Do you like it? Lots. Not only in regard to painfully spicy things, but also the way mild or slight spice adds to a meal. I've always had this dream of opening a curry stand. As things are, I might actually pursue that dream. Let me know if you do. I haven't had curry in ages now. Hey, bartender. Call me Jill. I want to apologize. Hmm. You put up with me all this time without lashing out. I should apologize for my behavior and thank you at that. Don't worry, I actually feel like I was too rude to you last time you came. Granted, you came at a really bad time, but I should be the one apologizing. You're a client, after all. Well, don't. I'm actually surprised that nobody else had violently lashed at me yet. You're making me curious as to who you really are, though. Is Virgilio even your real name? It might be, it might not. Sometimes I wonder if I'm a magnet for people who hide their identities in sordid pasts. I wonder if you guys can hear that. Hmm, why not? There's an airplane going, going past at the moment. Gil, Jamie, you... Um, did you say something? Just rambling, pay me no mind. Now that I think about it, how did you find this bar? I was... Avoiding some trap, some some chaps, and came to this valley. Hm. Again. Again. In my time here, I've heard avoided people end up here enough times to make me believe that the original owner built the bar here, thinking the, about the runaway couple. You make me sound like a criminal. You're not helping. The expression runaway doesn't mean people escaping the law, though. We've had people avoiding stalkers or solicitors. I've seen people more shocked by an insolent salesman than a shady figure. Mainly because the salesman is more active predator. I don't know. The troublesome part of the city might uh, right near the shopping district. Let them know there's a bar and they'll come. Sorry, I should stop rambling to myself so much. I don't mind it. Hi, Pocket. You can always do... Uh, exclamation mark, that's word. Exclamation mark lurk as well. That's a fun little tool that I have in there. Super nice. Virgilio. Do you think I'm some sort of criminal, though? Like I said, you're not helping. But for all I know, you might be the buffoon I've seen the other days. In any, ca in any case, can I get something bitter here? On it. Let's go bitter. Not trying to make him drunk this time. Uh, uh, basically does... Actually, let me type it. Um, yes, yes, yes. Come on. Alert. Oftentimes, it just kind of... You know, has a little message for people who want to lurk, and also, depending on how active the chat is, uh, lets me know that uh, somebody is just kind of chilling out and listening and having some fun. Ignore me eating. <laughs> I haven't actually had breakfast yet. I'm about to have dinner in a couple of hours, too. Cut punch. Um, try to make him. I mean, I guess I can kind of make him drunk a little bit. Enjoy the chaos that is sure to ensue. 
Uh, is there anything that's bitter and spicy? No, not really anything bitter and spicy. So let's go with a... Four Bronson, three Bronson, two Bronson, five Bronson. He likes bears. We'll give him a gut punch. And like two ketamine, I guess. One, two, three, four, five. One, two. And we'll go with four. Uh, aged and mixed. There we go. Here. This works. Do you like coffee, Miss Bartender? As words may sound from a smoking bartender, no, I don't. Well, I get it. It's not for everyone. That cat boomer the other day. What about her? Still scared of her? Not really, but she looks so familiar. Maybe you're mixing up with another cat boomer? No, that's not it. It's like the bandage girl last time. Even with the bandages, there's just something really familiar about her. Maybe you need to stop thinking about it. Answers usually come to you when they when you stop stressing out. You might be right. Well, I'll leave you for now, bartender. Thanks for everything. Please come again. Welcome to Valhalla. Oh, hello, Mr. Detective. Eh. And here we are, another mute person wandering to the bar. Anything I can get you? Gut punch. Okay. Gut punch for the silent detective. Uh, we're gonna give him a lot of drinks this time because I'm cruel. There we go. Uh, aged and mixed. Here. Oh, you got it right. So what's up now? A bit of holiday blues, you could say. So you celebrate Mega Christmas? Why wasn't I? You look more like a festivious kind of guy. Why does everyone keep saying that? Well, festivious is a celebration going against the capitalist madness that is Mega Christmas. And, you know, cheapskate. If you have something to say, say it. Now I'll refrain. Although now that I think about it, holiday blues is not really tied to a specific celebration. Just the season. A season of communist craze. Com com consumerist, consumerist craze. Mega Christmas is just a mockery of what the real Christmas once was. I mean, the season has slowly become enslaved to the corporations over time. Holiday spirit can only be manipulated so much. But then came the turbo male guy. He started a yearly tradition of dressing up like Santa in the ring. Turbo male that can't be his ring name. It is. Really? Your tacky name was accepted? His partner was Buster Master. His rival was Dr. Chris Max. Tacky names were not a problem. I mean, I knew there was a wrestler that was dressed as Santa every year. I also knew the guy became insanely popular and the stunt got out of control. And of course, that's the part that everyone sings about. Santa became Mega Santa thanks to the Redmond family. Mega Santa sees the error of his ways and becomes the mighty Mega Santa, rena renaming the, the holiday Mega Christmas. And then every company jumped on the bandwagon and Christmas was Mega Christmas before anyone noticed. So you're telling me that the guy who somehow managed to rename the holiday went by the ring name Turbo Mail. Yep. Mm, that makes the whole holiday sound like a joke. The holiday is a joke. And you're telling me you don't celebrate Festivius? <sighs> no, I don't. Do you know what kind of people celebrate Festivius? The kind that's so lame and bland that they can only talk about how they're better because they celebrate Festivius. Like those jerks who only eat a nuke and think they're better than everyone else. I see. Anything else I can get you? Give me a fringe weaver, will you? Sure. Fringe weaver, baby. One. Oh, he wants to get drunk today. Age the next. Here. Right. Thanks. So, any issues with the city lately? What's the word on the street? Shouldn't I be asking that? There's nothing new, really. The lynchings of white knights stop, so there's that. Really? Something about the armor. I haven't gotten that much on that one yet. 
All in all, the madness following the attack on the bank seems to have settled down a bit. Well, that's good to hear. Have any other details about the attack emerged yet? All records of whatever happened there have long been deleted. Security cam, system logs, everything was wiped. Whatever happened there became even more of a mystery now. I wonder if Say plans on testifying. Does anyone know Say went there in the first place? Maybe the white band of everything actually protects her somehow. Hey, bartender, are you okay? Sorry, not distracted. There's not much to say, really. There's the old silly rumor here and there, like the vending machine's tasers malfunctioning and applying more strength. Or that the writer of the last reign in the world is actually living here as a brain in a jar. But those are the kind of rumors you hear from crackheads. Crackheads might hold that one last piece of info you need, but you also hear crap like that. I see. Anyway, I'm out leaving now. Happy New Year, bartender. Please come again. Okay then. Um, but, oh no, wait, she's out. Gil, you there? Yeah. Taking a break? Let me know if someone comes in. Break time. That is a decent amount of money we got from the, from the... What, four drinks, I think? So, that's good. So not to get rid of that second one. Oh well. Now safe to keep playing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Things are pretty quiet outside. Give me my sounds! Chill. I don't remember her voice exactly, so I'll just work with what I got. Ah, Miss Kim. D just call me Kim. It feels weird to be called Miss. You seem to be in a good mood. I got some money on Mega Christmas. Wouldn't you be happy? I guess. What can I get you? I'll have a beer. Okay. Get Kim a beer. And not a big one. She doesn't like big ones. Oh, she does like big ones. You. Thanks. So, how have you been doing? P pretty good, actually. My hair stopped falling out. My appetite is coming back. I haven't realized just how much the newspaper weigh was weighing on me until I quit. I suddenly stopped feeling defeated. I actually felt like I achieved a victory. Like, uh, like I got a hold of my own life. So nice to hear. Oh yeah, I'll start bartending training in January too. Huh? Really? Yeah. I did some research and it sounded cool. BTC gives you so many benefits, so it sounds like a good thing to do for the time being. I don't know if it's what I want to do for the rest of my life, but it's a good start. It'll give me time to think on the next course of action. A bit of advice, don't go for BTC housing plans unless you absolutely have to. You have to sign a contract. Huh? That one absolutely picked up on my mic, I'm assuming. <laughs> you have to sign a contract for at least five years of service with a cut in pay and tips. I was going to go for that one, but I backed down a bit to the last minute. How do you back down a bit? Well, I took the chance when the BCT found me an apartment. And instead of signing the BTC contract, I just asked for a regular one. I still have no idea how I got away with that one. I thought those apartments were built by them or something. Back in England, they are. They have their own real estate companies. Apartment complexes uh, where they have the means to give discounted rooms to the employees. But in this city, Real, uh, Realty Nua holds unspoken real estate to monopoly, so BTC can't easily offer such promises. Oh. Realty Nua is a bit weird as far as companies go. Their name has become synonymous with quality, a brand built around certain expectations. But the truth is that Realty Nua has done very little work to no work in the last 10 years or so. Really? I mean, when they started, they managed to sell and build upon plots of land that everyone else gave up on. They became a big name as far as real estate goes. But in reality, the company itself has actually done less than you think of the years. Most of the time, they're cashing on their established properties or letting others work with them. I believe in the last 10 years or so, they only started around 3 or 4 new projects. And they've all done expansions of their already established ones. You seem to know a lot about it. Nah, just read a lot about it all the time. Especially after hearing my landlord ramble about them. I think it's all par for the course for real estate companies, really. But it's true that when you hear a name so much, you expect something. I don't know. Different. But enough rambling on my side. You must be thirsty. Can I get you anything else? Let's try a sugar rush. 
Okay. Sugar Rush. I mean, we really haven't been sending that many Sugar Rushes lately. But, uh, you know, I'll add a lot of drink in here. We'll go up to that. Um, next. Here you go. Yay. Actually, Jill, I came here today to thank you. Me? Uh, yeah, back when I first showed up here, I was in a really rough spot. I was shocked, I was tired, I was a total mess. I even said some really mean things, but you had patience with me. Not to mention you helped me cool down and your boss saved me. I want to go eat some. Scrambled egg eggs with bacon is fantastic. And, I don't know, I, I felt like I had to tell you all that before the year ended. Much appreciated. Thanks. But, but anyway, how are you doing? Last time you were a bit off. No, I'm better now. Thanks a lot. G glad to hear. It was weird to see you like that. It always felt like you were pulling up a cool bartender. It did. You don't? No, I don't. Are you sure? What you saw as the cool bartender act is what everyone else describes as being cold. I mean, cold and cool do mean the same, but... Nah, don't try to pull up that act. Sorry to disillusion you. I'm too much of a mess to do such a thing. Hmm. Disappointed? Uh, surprised, actually. Well, let me believe that you were pulling onto that. And more importantly, how can I make use of it when I get assigned to a bar? I must investigate further. Good luck with that. I'd say, uh, let's try something bubbly now. Alright. Bubbly. Bubbly, bubbly, bubbly. Uh, beer, cobalt velvet. That's a lot of alcohol. French weaver, that's even more alcohol. Let's go with that. I'm very mean when it comes to serving people alcohol. French weaver, bubbly. Here. Thanks. Hey Jill, I'm gonna need some ice. Ah, oh, boss. A boss? Oh, I know you. Thank you, thank you. Hey, nice to see you're fine. I'm more than fine, I'm alive, I'm here. I avoid my biggest mistake in my life thanks to your timely intervention. I, I don't know what overcame me, I just, I just felt like, like, like everything was shouting. I couldn't stop the shouting, so I just felt like, like, uh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> oh, just it, every time makes me think of, um, oh, what's his name? Uh, oh, the dude from Legend of Zelda. Tinkle, that's it. Oh no, no, not Tinkle. The the shopkeep inside Legend of Zelda, um, Wind Waker. That's it. Thank you. <laughs> Don't even mention it. I just did what I thought was right. Uh, Jill, ice please. All right. Are you all right? Did you seek help? I know a couple of people that could help you. Uh, don't worry, I'm perfectly fine. I've, I've gone to a therapist a couple of times, but he says I'm okay. I just something overcame me, but you invented, intervented, and I don't, I don't know what to say. You erased it. Thank you. Saying you fine, you're fine is more than enough for me. I should have come to thank you earlier. I owed you that at least. Don't worry. Just go out and be happy. You have a second chance, so use as best you can. I will. I'll be leaving. Happy New Year, Jill, and thank you again. Please come again. So, a couple weeks ago, I read some news about a woman saving a suicidal girl. Catch him there. Would you know something about that, boss? <laughs> maybe, maybe not. Whoever it was probably just did because it was the right thing to do. Oh, that's neat. Oh, I didn't even think about that. Feeling lonely. That voice. Hey, Anna! I don't remember the voice I gave her. It was, uh, hey, Joe. Long time no see? Really long time no see. Seriously, it feels like it's been over a year since I last saw you. Hmm. I was planning on visiting you last week, but things were pretty heavy back then. So I just waited in the background until the tension wore off a bit. Hmm. Earth to Joe, I'm talking to you here. If I ignore her, she'll leave me. I'm not unfathomable sense of dread. You can't just ignore me, you know. Hmm. Hmm. Julianne Stingray, I'm talking to you. Hmm. Calm down, don't fall for her taunts. How she know my full name, though? I thought your full name was Julianne Natalie Stingray. Or did you re legally remove the Natalie? Never mind that, is she reading my thoughts? 
Yeah, I mean, they're kind of rich in the middle of the screen. Hard not to see them, actually. Alright, that's it. I'm going crazy. <laughs> that's such a self-centered way to see the world. You assume that you're crazy because you can't accept that this world could be weirder than you think. This world is amazing because of the things that you just can't explain. And just because you only experience something doesn't mean it's a lie or you're crazy. I mean, just look at ASMR. No, I'm pretty sure that's what a crazy person would say in this scenario. You acknowledged me. Shit. That's good. I want... I'm not serving you anything. What? Why? Last time you came here, I had to clean the drinks I served you off the floor. Don't be like that. The drinks were also paid for with my money. I don't know how you did it, but that set any all plans I had for the rest of the week off balance. I was gonna buy some curry with the money I put up for those drinks. Dog do done. I know we have slow days, but for God's sake. You okay? You look angry. I I'm fine. Good, good job out there. I'm back. Nah, no, boss, what happened? Me and cut short. At least I drank the has, 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 the, the bottles. Are you okay? You look distraught. I'm fine. So they really can't see you. I mean, you're right in front of them. And you're wearing jeans under a skirt? Hmm. Why? Just why? To annoy people, of course. Is that the new trend? What does she think she's doing? Everyone feels like it's not quite right. Everyone feels like they should call you out. But they can't bring themselves to do it because it's not that wrong. There are things like spats, after all. It's uncannily right. Not all that wrong, but they just can't stop staring. Not like anyone other than me can see it, though. They could see it if they want to. Jill, you're making an awful lot of faces there. Are you okay? Yeah, j just remembering stuff. Man, I miss not being crazy. Boss, I'm leaving early today. And you stay here. Who stays where? Crap, I just... You have to be the first person I've met who mixes their inner and outer thoughts. I, um, I thought I saw one dog's near counter. Sorry. Oh, okay. Can I leave a bit earlier today? Sure. Thanks for taking care of the fort. What about me? You haven't left yet. I'll thank you when you leave. That, that's not why... I, whatever. Alright, 1600 with 2400 for one day. So we have three days to make 7500. That does not seem feasible. <laughs> yeah, that, that does not seem feasible. <laughs> Looking at the poster, Jill managed to get Gabby off her mind even for just a little bit today. Th this just doesn't seem feasible. I don't... I don't know if it's possible to get this much money in this time, but you know what? We'll try. We'll do our damnedest. DI, uh, you're, you're in new season, finally here, uh, my internet service gets got off tomorrow, wake me up, all the comfy, sounds cute for nerds maybe, okay, AE, biker gang arrested to have vandalism during protests, it, it, the members of one of the largest gang, biker gangs in the Mose sector were arrested after the group's leader and entourage were found at the site of a protest last Friday. Their leader, commonly known in the streets as Christine Love, uh, declared to the press they were unjustly arrested. And that her gang was only there to defend protesters from the White Knights. They're afraid of us. They know they can't take us down in the streets. So they used protesters as shield and we had no option but to surrender, Love told AE during a phone conversation. They're currently detained and waiting for trial. The formal char charges are unknown so far. Foray. Isn't she a game developer? Jill, she's many things. Parliament discusses anime influence. During an unusual meeting out at the Parliament today, delegates discuss the effects of anime on the population. It's nothing but filth! Trash! A representative for the Worker Party yelled during the meeting. If I could choke every single writer or animator out there, I'd do it! I'd choke them with my own and hands to hands! Several anime studio heads have responded to the news. I think they would ban it if it wasn't bringing so much money into the local market. Yamaka K, a producer, told the Armament to die during a phone interview. I do agree the anime is trash, but I'll save the genre. You can trust me. Jill. Ah yes, important topics and all. Taylor the Brain tried a tried of name change requests. A couple of weeks ago, we wrote about Taylor, one of the brains of the Soma Ama project. 
One of the highlights from the interview that was unfortunately stripped from the finished version was a stray comment about how many people asked Taylor to change their name to Brian on a regular basis. I know people won't uh, try to be funny, but I won't change my name for a punchline, Taylor told the AE team. I like the name Taylor, and there's nothing wrong with Brian. I just won't be part of a joke. I just won't be a part of the joke. My life is worth more than that. Taylor is currently looking at their chance to become a senator in the upcoming electoral season. Jill. Taylor! Oh, I miss Taylor. He's a nice guy. Alright. So we need 7,500 in three days. That's 20, 40, 60, 25, 50, 75. It's 2,500 a day. That's much more than I tend to make. Good evening. Hey, Jill. Let's have a New Year's party this Saturday. Isn't that a bit soon? Why? Did someone famous get killed at a New Year's party? No, I mean... Never mind. Sure, I'm in for it. Great! And Jill? He's coming too. I mean, it's not like he has anything else to do. Hey. No, I mean, where is he? He was escorting a client of his to the station. He should be back any second now. Back? See? So, you coming to New Year's party too, Gil? It's not like I have anything else to do, so... I told you. We're depressing people. Oh yeah, the kid from the other day, Gabby, I think you called her, asked me to give you this. And I believe it's a note. A note, Gabby, let's see. First of all, I wanted to apologize for my behavior before. I was still hurt by my sister's death and it wasn't fair to take out all this stress on you, let alone put the blame on you. And so it feels weird to ask this of you after I treated you, but I really want to talk to you. I want to catch up, to chat for a while, do what you were doing with me before I last time. I want to understand this freedom you talked about, the fear that drove you to a fight with my sister. I'll go back to the bar on the 31st. That won't take much of your time. If you don't want to see me after all that, I understand. But please, I really want to talk to you. Gabby. Wow. That girl has a big vocabulary. She was always a smart one. Hmm. Hmm? The 31st is written in different handwriting. Oh, yeah. She asked me when you'd be here and relatively free, so I told her after the party. I also assumed you said yes to the party, which might not have been the best idea now that I think about it. Hmm. B -b Boss, I'm, I'm having second thoughts about coming to the party. What? Why? B -b because I don't really don't want to face Gabby again. <clears throat> now it's coming back to me what drove me to never go back and apologize after all those years. Fear and shame. Shame because I know I made a hideously stupid mistake, and it's painful to face your mistakes and fear of what they might say. With Lenore, we never broke up formally, so I was always afraid that if we were to meet again, she'd break up with me. And I don't want Gabby to tell me that she hates me to my face. Lenore was in the right to break up with me, and Gabby is in the right to hate me. But I don't want her to. Maybe if I never see her again, she'll tell me that. Jill, you idiot! Eh? You're thinking backwards. Didn't the say she wanted to understand you? If you bail out on this, she will hate you. Not only that, but you're getting a new chance here. Do you want to live the rest of your life running from another memory? Didn't you say to Amridge that you hated feeling from that? Uh, Amridge? Am 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 T-Hacker. Alma, right. I don't know what happened when you fought with that girl's sister. But now you have a chance to make amends. And not only that, you have us watching your back. So I want you to think about this. One day of fear, or a lifetime filled with regret. Which one do you pick? Yeah. Yeah, you're right. I hate feeling bad. I won't run away this time. Good, because I would have gone to your apartment and dragged you out of there if need be. Hey, boss. Thanks. That's what friends are for? Yeah. Anyways, let's start the day. Yeah, see if I can make friggin' 75,000 in three days, good god. Time to mix drinks and change lives. Hmm. Seriously though, it's the second note that has stirred such feelings in me. Second one? Two weeks ago, I got another note in the mail. This one from Lenore. Was that the envelope you took away from me in a panic? Yep. You haven't opened it? Why not open it with Gabby? Facing one fear, might as well face the other. Maybe. Don't push her, Chief. Nah, I'm not. I'm just, I just know she's capable of doing all that. 
I'll go secure stuff with the party. Call me if you need anything. Hmm. Keep it up, kill. Thanks. Stella! Happy holidays! Someone's happy. We held a party for the staff and their children. You should have seen the faces of those kids receiving gifts. Nabbing that Santa suit the last minute the other day was totally worth it. Santa dresses seem to have been popular this year. I heard they were sold out to most places. There was this weird shortage of Santa suits, but luck was on my side this year. <clears throat> sorry, sorry for that outburst. Why, you look so happy. I feel happy too. Show hide your happiness. Uh, um, a anyway, can you give me a purple velvet, please? Sure. Yay, Stella, give me more money. Give me all the money. Uh, I'm going 280, 68. Uh, okay, 1, 2, 3, 5. On the rocks and here. Thanks. Are you meeting with Say today? She, she should be here in a bit. She told me she wanted to drink here, and since I was coming here too, but sadly I can't stay for long. I have some errands to run. How's she been lately? She's better. Her wounds have been healing re really nicely. Uh, if only she stopped scratching our bandages so often. What better I? I? Oh, hers. Sorry. <clears throat> It'll take longer to heal. But as long as it's kept clean, there should be no problem. But to be honest, I'm more worried about emotional wounds. She doesn't show it, but she's had depressive at burst from time to time. And who can blame her? Her life changed completely. The job she loved no longer exists, and she was used as a disposable pawn in the Bell Bank Affair. I'm afraid it'll make her go back to her old ways. Old ways? There was a rough spot when Sadie was a teen. Her mom's clinic was about to close, and her biological father, who was also an asshole, showed up. And the teachers at our school didn't help. Uh, Say was is not a sole learner by any means, but her way of learning stuff is uh, different. Uh, she needs equivalences to things that she knows. You need to get a bit in her mindset. But once you get this, she's a fast learner, but schools don't have that kind of patience. They basically branded her a failure. She even dropped out. I was dressed to a special course somewhere else, but that would have prevented her. She always been against being labeled as special or different. Anyway, Say was totally different during that period. Hmm. <laughs> Foul mouth, short fused, always frowning, the total opposite of how she is nowadays. But time to time I see the old look across her face and it scares me. You're comparing her to her teen self though. People mature. Maybe she'll show signs from time to time, but I know by bet say knows better than to go back to that. I hope so. Now get me give me something cold and sweet, will you? Sure. Cold and sweet. Bitch cold uh sweets. Sugar Rush, new. Sparkle Star, new. Blue Fairy, new. Moon Blast. Uh, moon Blast is one. Uh, I think it's a Moon Blast. Yeah, Moon Blast. That's on the rocks. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, one, 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 two. And plenty. Man, not a lot of money. <laughs> Hi, Ellie. We are attempting to get a crap ton of money in a very short amount of time because obviously they don't give us a lot of time to make a lot of money for some unknown reason. Here. Thanks. This is the kind of stuff Safe for asks for, you know? Now that you mention it. So I take it Safe's family situation is exactly fine and dandy, huh? It's a mess. They've tried to fix it over time, but I'm glad to say they've actually done it. Uh, Say's mom had a really abusive relationship with Say's uh, biological father. Sadly, like most women in that situation, she just tried to justify his actions. But apparently, things got nasty when Say's mom, Miss M, uh, Miss Emmy, got pregnant. At that point, she had uh, an epiphany. Human form Vulpix. Yeah, she's a cat girl. She's an actual cat girl. Uh, I don't remember exactly the name that they give her, but you know. Um, epiphany, one would say. She didn't want that guy to raise her child, so she finally sought help. By the way, apparently, uh, this was actually discussed earlier. Her chest is actually massive, but she hides it, kind of? Yeah. It's kind of odd, but interesting at the same time. Really doesn't, it really doesn't look that big, but it's interesting. Uh, things weren't so easy, though. Before the authorities could take him away, Miss Emmy got a serious beating from him. She still uses a cane to walk, thanks to that. Uh, she moved here. She moved here. Say was born. She started a veterinary clinic. So did you come back? 
He was drunk and couldn't find any drugs, so he made it to the city. He caused a ruckus for a couple of days until Say managed to scare him off. Ow. She beat him to near death. Three times. Sorry, I shouldn't laugh, but... Oh, don't worry. I laugh too. The dramatic irony there is delicious. I've been wondering, can you really be so calm in the lower parts of the city? Hmm? I mean, the streets are not exactly safe. And a cat boomer, that's the word, cat boomer, is sure to become a target. Well, I have the security staff with me at all times, so there's no problem. Besides, this part of the city is comfier. Uh, come again? Sure, uptown is cleaner, maybe more secure, but it's also too sterile. Around here, you can actually feel the warmth of the people. You feel there are people living. I especially like going to busy food stands. I like the warmth there that uptown doesn't have. It's also easier to talk to people. You finally came. Welcome. If you try to talk to someone in the other part of the city, they'll either shrug you off or flat out ignore you. People around here are a bit weary, but they're also more likely to talk to you. Not that things aren't nice there, though. Oh. Food break. Can I get you something? I feel like having a beer. Make that too. If I just want one. I'm asking for one for me, adding one to your order. Oh, that, right. Two beers for the girls. Well, that's at least good money. Ah, that's 400 right there. Fantastic. Um. That's right. Alright, if a plane could stop being overhead, that would be fantastic. Hmm. Here. Thank you. Thanks. Say... You should have seen the kids after you left. They were all playing with the toys you picked. You nailed it again this year. They were all asking, where's Say? Where's Say? Why do they call you just Say when they call me Auntie Stella? I don't look that old. <laughs> Don't worry, they still like you. Sorry I had to leave, but mom worked overtime that night and I couldn't leave her alone. What happened? Well, there were fireworks and some dog thought it would be safe to hide in a jar. The little guy managed to get his head and a paw inside before getting stuck. And it was plastic, so they couldn't just try to break it. That, that, that's messy. She needs someone to hold the dog while she worked. Poor fellow was scared. Well, I'm out. Oh yeah, we'll have a New Year's party this Saturday if you want to come. Sure, it's better than pressing myself and my dad's woes over the about the next fiscal year. I'll be here. Bye, Jill. Bye, sir. Careful. Please come again. You want to come too? I'd love to. I'll also make up for not coming last time. How was the party? Pretty nice. We played Truth or Dare. Had some fun, bricks and glasses. Ate lots and lots of food. Seriously, looking back, the amount of food was ridiculous compared to the amount of people out there. There are leftovers and left hanging, don't you think? Yeah. Can I get you something? Let's try something classy. Okay. Something classy. Classy, 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 classy. Bad touch. Uh, 250 and on the rocks. Uh, Brantini, 250. 280. 260, 250, let's go with a cobalt. Do -do. Uh, on the rock, and it's something classy. <laughs> yep, this is the thing. Stella came in quite cheery about Sunday. This Sunday? Oh yeah. Well, well you know, her birthday is actually 25th. Really? There, there's a weird story from when she was a kid. Uh, she heard Mega Santa's story, and somehow she got into her head that be, by being born on the 25th, uh, she was the spiritual reincarnation of the original Santa. That made her start giving out gifts like crazy. She got over it, but the gifting stuck to her. Spiritual reincarnation. Well, the story goes about, uh, says that the Redmond story, Redmond family destroyed Santa's spirit. And that Mega Santa was reborn as manifestation of the Christmas spirit. She thought she was the old Santa spirit in a new body. That girl was delusional as a kid. Hmm. Speaking of things you did when you were young, 
Stella mentioned she's worried about you going back to your old ways. Something about a rough period where you were angry or something. Oh, not that. It's sweet that she's worried, but I won't go back to those days just like that. Even if I face the same situation, I'm a more mature, you know. I'm not a teen anymore. I expected as much, told her as much. Hey, can you get me something bubbly? Sure. Wow, we're making a lot of money today. Uh, bubbly, bubbly. Uh, there's beer. Uh, cobalt velvets. On the rock mixed. French weaver. Go with cobalt velvet. Which I think is exactly what we gave her last time. Yeah. But, you know. It is what it is. Mm, yeah. On the rocks. And Here. Bubbly bubbly. Hey Jill, this might seem random, but uh, do, do you remember the first time I came here? Yeah, you're the second white knight I've served. I remember. Why? Precisely because of that. I, I've been meaning to ask you about that story. What's your other experience with the white knight? If I had to put it simply, total opposite of you. Oh? She came here as part of her work, looking for information on some case. I went through the motions, offering her a drink and all that, but she came only for her job. At first I thought she was just another private eye, but she showed me a badge and all. What kind of case was it? Mm, I wouldn't know. She never told me, but she asked if I saw some people. She got pretty intense when I told her I had no idea who she was talking about. I suggested that she asked the vending machines outside, and they told her a suspect climbed on them. She got her info and she left, very professional and a bit intimidating. She seemed personally invested in the case, though. The way she lost her cool was suspicious. You seem to be pretty good at reading people, Jill. It makes me kind of jealous. Nah, I'm not that good at it. It's just coincidence that I noticed it. But you noticed it. I'm not good at reading people. Even if the cue was slow in my face, I wouldn't be able to see it. I'm sure you can compensate with no skill. Any particular reason you asked me about that, then? Not really. I just found the fact that I was the only other white knight you served weird. I, I mean, really? Just two? Weird, I know. I've spent most of my life with almost no interactions with white knights until I met you. It means you had a nice life then. That sounded creepier than I thought. A bit, yeah. Well, I'm done for the day. Thanks, Jill. Please come again. I'll go take my break, Gil. Sure. Man, we are speeding through these days. Saving again, saving again. Uh, now I'm going to eat some more food. I'm the only person I know who can, uh, who can make eggs and bacon last for two hours. <laughs> Jill. I wonder if I left food for Foray. Probably. Okay, I'm here. Hmm? Yeah, um, Dorothy. Hmm. You won't get through the bar anytime soon. You can stop walking. Huh? Ah, honey. You want something? <laughs> the usual, I guess. The usual. You, 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 usual. The usual. I don't know her usual. God damn it. Um. Hmm. I don't remember her usual. Um. What's your usual, ma'am? Uh, that's something. Ah, uh, give her piano woman. The usual one was piano woman. Uh, the usual one was sugar rush, and the other one I think was piano woman. Interesting. So if I wanted to, it'd be a piano woman. And. So let's go with Piano Woman. It's also more expensive. Uh, Piano Woman. I really don't want to mess this one up. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, one, two, three, one, two, three. Agent. Here. This is nice. Nice, 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 
Okay, you're freaking me out. What's up with you? Hey, honey, how do you know what's real? How so? I mean, how do you know if what you see is an actual thing? How can you tell if what you see around you is actually happening? What tells you everything is not actually a fabrication? What tells me I'm not just a simulation in a computer? And those ponderings brought you to this bar? What? Oh, I I'm in a bar. Am I? Oh, honey. Dorothy. Hmm? So you're having a solipsis crisis of sorts. So little what? Solipsism, the theory that the self is the only thing that can be known to exist. See, that's nothing right there, that word. Solipsism, what does it even mean? Where the hell did it come from? Well, solus means alone, and ipsis means self. Yes, but how did it come to be? Do you expect me to believe that a lot of people just randomly decide to make noises and decide, hey, let's make this, no one mean this? It doesn't make sense. Words don't make sense. I've been repeating words for a long time. They stopped making sense. Why? Calm down. That's just some semi-sistic sensitivity. Stop making up words, honey. And then there's this counter. How can I be sure the counter is really here? It is. Please stop trapping it. Hold on. Just making sure. I should make a drink. At least something. I'm not making another piano woman. Uh, must because it's expensive. Uh, sweet from more happy. Okay. Five, five, two, three, three, eight, eight. Stop counting the, tapping the counter so much. I'm this close to falling beside your face. Sorry. So let's start from the beginning. Since when did you have this existential crisis? Since early today, I think. I, I was remembering the good times I had with my, with my guardian. But I, d I don't know, it's all too sudden. I was thinking about everything that happened from a week ago until now. How much fun I was having, how much I loved everyone around me. And I don't know where the thoughts started piling up in my mind. What is love? Don't hurt me, don't hurt me, no more. What is fun? Are these feelings real? Is all this real? Am I real? What tells me I'm actually in a body? What if I'm just some sort of computer somewhere thinking has a body? What if I'm just a human girl and come to a stream? What tells me that you're real? Eh? For all I know, I might just be a figment of somebody's imagination, or even just AI simulation in some computer that thinks it's human. Uh, I've been there, Dorothy. That accidental doubt and crisis, that uncertainty of whether or not things are real, it was a couple of months only, but. I remember having panic attacks and scratching my arm to feel something. But the panic attacks gave me a rush of adrenaline so I couldn't feel a scratch and the fear got worse. Why'd you do get over it? Oddly enough, I read a book. The Last Rain in the World, one of my favorites. At one point I cried with the book and I realized I was crying over fake things, the story and its characters. I didn't care less for them because they were fake, why not think of a reality like that too? Even if I'm a figment in somebody's imagination, I'd still care about you. That's why I told myself, at least. It wasn't immediate, but that focus helped me. <laughs> I like it. Hey, can I take this drink? I made it for you. Thanks. Okay, then. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, phew. Why, why did you throw it on your head? To <laughs> feel something you made. And... It burns, and it just burns. I'll get you a towel. Delivery for Zadana Zay. Oh, I've been here before. Hey, Mr. Mario. Welcome back. I have delivery for Donna Zane. Who's that? She's my boss. I'll get it for her. Right, sign here, please. It's a big package. I wonder what's inside. You should open it. If it's something perishable, maybe it'll need to be refrigerated. Let's see. It's... A wiener. A really big wiener. Uh... Huh? Hey, honey. Mm -hmm. The big package of the big wiener inside. <laughs> what will your boss do with such a thing? I don't know. She'll cook it. Pop, she'll chop it. Honey. Seems the wiener is too big to eat correctly. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Maybe you could prepare some right now. What do you say, honey? Do you want some of your boss's wiener? 
Seriously, Jill? She's the one making the jokes. And you're the one trying not to laugh too hard at them. Anyway, we all know if you dare cook this without permission, she'll hang us upside down. She'll hang me upside down. Hey, Jacket Boy, what's your name? I'm Mario. Come here, Mario. I'll buy you a drink. Uh, you might have another delivery, you know. This is the last one, actually. I'll accept your offer. I have a sunshine cloud. And you? I'm fine. Sunshine cloud for Mario. Well, he seems kind of nicer. Uh, and we'll 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 be a wing woman for uh for Dorothy here. And blended. There we go. Sunshine cloud. Here. Oops. Thanks. Hey, um, call me Dorothy. You can also call me Darling for the right amount. And yeah, Dorothy, why did you buy me a drink? Just to let you know, I don't swing that way. What way, Lilo? I'm a man's man. I like men, okay? Not that there's anything wrong with liking women, but, uh... Oh, don't worry. I wasn't hitting on you. I was thanking you. Thanking me? Your package lets me see Honey here laughing like an idiot. It's easier than you think. Mm. That made me happy, and I don't know, it fit with what she was telling me earlier. I'm more calm than I was when I entered. Mm. Uh, glad to help, I guess. Well, Dewey calls. Bye, Mario. Bye, John. Bye, honey. Enjoy your big wiener. Out with you. She seems like a nice girl. I don't mean for it to sound like guy. I get it, I get it. Don't worry, you like guys, it's clear. Speaking of, you like motorcycles, don't you? And I do, yeah. Have you been to the Moto District? I spend all my free time in the Moto District, actually. Why? Is it true that they say about all the legal races going on down there? You're not a cop, are you? As far as I remember, no. Hmm. Well, I mean, there are illegal races, but there is also semi-legal league, uh, semi league going on there. Semi-legal? The authorities acknowledge that there is races going on. They don't know what goes on in them, however. Modified engines, casualties, substance abuse, the illegal ones end up being safer in the end. Huh. Have you heard about a biker called Christine Love? Miss Love, of course. Everyone knows who she is. What about her? Is her gang as dangerous as they say? I don't know. No one knows. Excuse me? They look intimidating enough, but truth is, no one has faced them directly. Moreover, nobody wants to be the one gets beaten to a pulp if they turn about be, out to be what they seem. So her gang is just there, menacingly doing their own thing, not bothering anyone. No. Do you want anything else? I have a piano man. Alright. Piano man for Mario. Two, three, five, five, three. On the rocks next. Here. Yeah, this is nice. Hey, you two an item? <laughs> what are you trying to say with that laughter, Gil? No, we're not. What's wrong with you? Hey? You work with this hunk of a man and you don't feel... <laughs> I don't feel the least bit tempted. How can you be so calm with this smell so close to you? you? Ever heard the expression, his pass is a fucking weight I don't want to carry? Because his pass is a fucking weight I don't want to carry. <laughs> if he even has passed at all, I've had my doubts lately. Are you implying he's, got, he's not good game? Oh, don't misunderstand. Gil is good game. He's not bad looking, he's a gentleman, he's always attentive. But he's also distant and will take many steps back when he feels like he's in close to somebody. You don't have to marry him, just push him into a closet. <laughs> Jesus Christ, this game. <laughs> eh, not interested. You annoy me, bartender. You don't see what you have right in front of you. I'm out. Please come again. Nah, Gil, you heartbreaking fuckboy. Back. Did anything happen? I discovered I have the sense of humor of an eight-year-old. Did anything new happen? Hey. 
They brought you a package. Ah, yes, my curated wiener. It's a gift from my folks. It was delayed in customs, but here it is. You guys want some of it? <laughs> That's a new one. Jesus Christ. Hey, we got 2200. That's actually not too bad. Uh, as long as we keep up about that same amount. I almost have enough. I have some pocket money on my excuses. Yeah, that sounds about right. She's able to focus. Rent is due on the 30th, so two days. Make sure your count has the necessary 10,000 you'll be evicted. <sighs> You've been chuckling since yesterday. <laughs> Wiener. Uh, let's see. The I This bar called Valhalla. Is any good? I need a place to unwind after work. Work. Normie's taking over, huh? Her, everyone's on the knee to just like me. Anyway, place is cool, but the bartender can make a bit of a dick. I've still never been there. Someone knows she's cute. I can take it. She's cute. She's cute, but I think she's a bit full of herself. The guy seem more a bit more like a bro. I see you already had a conversation with her. Did she reject your advances? Nah, I just heard from the distance. So is that a no? Kind of. I mean, if you're going there just to chat, want a place to chill for a bit to meet new people. Can I smoke there? Is there any bar from the BTC where you can smoke? Nope. Bummer. Well, I guess I'm going next week then. Sounds good enough for me. I'm full myself? You are. Alright, fair enough. AE. Uh, Y2K, the final remaster, leads the video game charts. The newest remaster of 2016's Y2K, a postmodern RPG, opens the charts for the, this week with 3.5 million copies shipped on its launch day. Other titles this week include other re new releases such as uh, Hatsune Miku. Hatsune Miku, yeah, I ain't even trying to hide that. Uh, Project Remaster and Sting Faces Remaster. Full chart including lifetime sales, blah blah blah, don't care. It's the third final this week. Woman marries anime pillow. Nobody's actually surprised. I remember a time when wacky stuff like this made a lot of headlines, but even though I'm reporting on it, I can't think about how mundane it has become. I mean, we live in a world where you can just plug into the internet and live there for as long as your wallet can afford related fees. Uh, lots of people get married in these virtual spaces thanks to new technologies. The traditional views on human relationships have changed so much that someone marrying a literal object feels kind of tame now. If the pillow had some form of intelligence, it might be somewhat different, but it's a plain generic anime hug pillow. Give with time, grandma. Kvore, wanna marry me? Jill, can't marry your own son. Hmm. First Space Colony plans to develop its own army. Even though space was imagined as the promised land, a place where humanity would start over, it looks like we're about to repeat our mistakes from the past. The first space colony, Shin, Shin Outer Paradise, is currently in is currently in talks to develop its own privately armed army, owned army, following alleged threats from a notorious ter terrorist group. We're discussing it right now, but the law is most likely approved. We'll have an army, and we'll defend our motherland from any terrorist threat. Alice Rabbit chimes in during a private stream. This terrorist group does not exist. Don't let our outer paradise government fool you. The only reason for this law is so they have more control of the population. Jill, Alice Rabbit is in space too? Amazing. Alright, well, next day, let's go. The 28th. Good evening. Ah, Jill, I'm out to get firecrackers. Firecrackers. It's New Year's, right? We need some. One firecracker scare off the dog. Yeah, good idea. Go ahead. I'll be back in a bit. Even for a cat lover, you seem you sure get excited about fireworks a whole lot more when dogs are involved. I know how critical it sounds, but I don't care. Ah, Jamie's here. Greetings. Anyway, let's start. Wow. We just moved through everything. Time to mix drinks and change lives. Now, the guy that won't come back twice. Ignome. Yeah, yeah, I'll shut up. By any chance, did something fly over here two weeks ago? On Friday? Yes. There were lots of weird explosion noises throughout the night, but as far as I understand, those were made by a flying drone or something like that. So, food by here. Take it, you know what made the noise? Let's just keep it at whatever drone story you've heard. Right. The noise got annoying after a while, I must say. So remained in the vicinity. 
I don't know what counts as in the vicinity, but yeah. Distant explosions all night. Interesting, so it didn't get far away. Mm. Uh, no, give me a Mars Blast. Alright. Do to do Mars Blast. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, one, two, three, four. Uh, one, two. All blended. Oh yeah. Here you go. Well, you didn't mess up. Sorry if I may interject. You looking for a fight? Most certainly not. You really think you stand a chance? You're like half his size. And I can fight dirty. He kills people for a living. Uh, I can fight dirty. Jill, please, you make me sound like a savage. It would be it would be like me saying you get people drunk for a living. It's not wrong, but there are better ways of saying stuff like that. You're right, sorry. And like I said, I'm not looking for a fight. I just noticed you seem to like strong drinks. What about it? Well, to be honest, it's a rare sight in this bar. I'd even come to believe I'm the only one here who enjoys them, aside from the owner. May I suggest you try a suplex next time, it might be to your liking. Uh, no, okay, let's try the suplex thing. Right. Giving him a suplex. <laughs> that sounded weird. Uh, Mr. Suplex. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. One, two, three. On the rocks. Here. Good stuff. Like a lot less burning, but punchier pile driver. Say, your face looks somehow familiar, mister. Call me Jamie, and you are. I'm Ingram. Anyway, I think I saw your face somewhere. Maybe why I need to look for a specific file at him. Hmm. Did you perhaps go through a nanomachinic spurge? I did, actually. Feared as much, only a handful of people do that, and almost all of them are people with nanomachine rejection that feel oddly suicidal. So, why go through the whole thing? Rejection? You hide something? The second one. It's easier to remain undetected when they have no means to track you or your vicinity. And I see. How does the x sponge work? You lie in a pressure chamber and they give you a special IV solution. It causes now machine rejection will give you the antibodies needed to protect them, uh, prevent them from getting back in. For five hours, you're trapped in bed with a horrible pressure building up your body and nano machines are forced out. They're like little needles all over your body. You feel them in your eyes, in your gums, in your toes, everywhere. And after all of that, they need to implant you with a mechanism that constantly releases the same antibodies. Ouch. What are you having, Jamie? This is gut punch. Yeah, I should have figured. Hey, give me one of those. Sure. <laughs> Let's give him a gut punch. Yeah, that doesn't sound right. One, two, three, four, five, one, one, two, three, four, just to make it even. Age the next. Here. Yeah, I love these. Looks different from yours, though. I had a couple extras in his, actually. So where's the antibody units they stuck you with, Jamie? Inside, like all the other maintenance systems. It can be troublesome at times, but the perks not having my shell man machines in my body outweighs the cons. And the rest of the enhancements, were you reconstructed or have you been adding them over time? And over time, either by getting a much needed enhancement or through fixing injuries. Yeah, I see. Well, it was a pleasure, Jamie, by Galilee. Nice meeting you, Ingram. Please come again. Don't count on it. You've said that twice. Shut up. Seemed like a nice guy. Right. I won't call him a bastard, but he's not the nicest in the bunch. Maybe you call him on a bad day. Nah, I think it's just that good at bringing out the nicer side of people. Oddly enough, that guy tires the hell out of me. <laughs> Someone's in a good mood. Give me a bad touch, will you? That way you'll be in a good mood too. <laughs> bad touch Walma. She knows me too well. Uh, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, four. On the rocks next. Here. Chill, you have such a petty sense of humor. Guilty as charged. 
So, what put you in a good mood? Oh yeah, that's... Today, my sister was supposed to be in court for the cur cut custody proceedings. Of course, not only does she show up later than her husband and drunk at that, but also dressed uh, like she got pounded in the back of a parking lot. And to top it all off, she forgot to even bring her kids. Luckily, my parents brought them to the court. The judge assigned my kids to the parents for the time being. So she already messed up, huh? And when they came back to the house and Diana started throwing a temper tantrum, she said it was lucky her husband didn't get the kids because the angst wouldn't make her jump onto the highway. So Eva comes and says, Then make sure it kills you because we aren't dealing with you as a cripple. I shouldn't reinforce that behavior. <laughs> I don't know, maybe it was the timing, but I've been laughing for an hour now. You hold quite the animosity for Diana, Diana, don't you? She and I used to be the closest friends when I was seven or eight. We played all the time. We even slept on the same bed for a while. Then she turned into a teen. We stopped playing. She had other things she wanted to do. I could forgive all that. I mean, the age difference at all. But there's something in particular I still can't forgive. It was a day she invited her friends to the house. I went to ask her for something. As I was leaving, one of her friends asked if I was her sister. And she said she had no little sisters. Ouch. I think that was the moment that finally broke the pedestal I held her on. I admired her as much as a kid could admire someone, you know. Little by little, the admiration wore off until we re finally reached that breaking point. I felt betrayed. And you haven't been able to forgive her after 40 years? Hey. It's not that I still hold a grudge against her, but rather... The uh, Diana who said all those things so many years ago is the same Diana that I know today. How so? She hasn't matured one bit. She's still selfish, childish, and mature as she was back then. When you see her, you don't see an adult, you see an overgrown, a horny teen. So aside from destroying admir any admiration she I held for her, she made sure not to fix that impression. Well, but enough about me, how are you? Everything's fine, aside from this note. A note? Remember how I told you I lashed out my dead girl- <coughs> Dead ex's sister? Yeah. I got this note from her. Let's see. Hmm. Wow, she must really feel bad about the whole thing. As do I. So what's the problem then? The same fear that drove me away from her in the first place. Right. Give me a brand teeny, will you? There's a little story I want to tell you. Alright. A brand teeny. Oops, my mouse went weird there for a second. Six. Three. One. Age mixed. Here. This is the thing. Let's start. Boo! Oh, hell no. This is the story of a girl who grew disillusioned with one of her sisters. Soon became animosity, and not long after that, she distanced herself completely from said sister. With time, the girl would become attached to her older sister, looking up to her achievement. All I can say right now, all I can, all I can look at right now are these boobs. Not now. Said sister would even marry the girl's best friend not soon after. And after the girl went to college, said sister would quit her job. The sister was worried sick about leaving her baby kid alone, prompting her to quit her high-ranking job. What if I hire your high-ranking lips? Shut up. The girl, even as an adult, felt betrayed. Her role model sister went against everything she held her high esteem for. She was no longer a child, and yet she felt like she part of her crumbled. Hey, Joe, I can lift a swear. Do you want to see? I bet you want to see. Alright, enough. Enough. Shit. Peace out. Uh, I mean... I know the girl's you, and the, sis you're the sister's your eldest sister. Please get to the point. Right. The point is, if you don't face her, she'll be heavily disappointed. She's trying to make amends with you. That must take courage. Lots of it. Yeah, you're right. My mouth's dry. Can't get a beer. Right. A beer. Man, I am going crazy, aren't I? Yeah, well, yeah. Just a little bit. Yeah, I would have taken up on the offer just to have it happen. Although it would have been funny if, uh... It just happened, like, what she had before, where she just kind of dumped drinks on the table, on the floor or something. Here. Thanks. 
So tell me, did you and this Gabby girl get along? Oh, yeah. I never had brothers and sisters, but once the North introduced me to her as her sister-in-law, she got so excited about having a new sister that she clung to me a lot. I helped her in her studies, read books with her, played with her a lot. She was, she was pretty much my sister too. Now I have to leave, but I'll tell you this. As both a big and little sister, you don't grant the true girl a chance of talking to you. I'll never forgive you. Yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, there's a small New Year's party this Saturday if you're interested. <laughs> oh, sure. I'll be there. Remember, I won't forgive you. Yeah, yeah. I'll go take my break. Alright. Bye, you were there. You were quite absorbed in the conversation just now. Jamie even said goodbye to you, didn't you hear? Anyways, call me if something comes up. Whew. Man, she's having a trip. We are making an astounding amount of money, though. Like, we're making uh, so much. At least from what I can tell, we're, we're doing way more drinks than we normally do, so... Here's hoping. It's less chilly today. Thank you. Jill, the kid's looking for you. Oh, shit. Norma! Hey. Ah, Norma. You're back. No, fuck you. You do know I'm not giving you any drinks, right? Crap, I said out loud. Y yeah, um, actually. I want to thank you. <laughs> she thought it was for her. Thank me? Well, for starters, for not complying. Giving me alcohol. Everything else would have fallen apart if I had some. Oh, so responsible, Joe. I, I... I kind of faced my mom and told her about all the pressure she was putting on me. And so I wanted to pray to figure out what I wanted to do. And, well, she didn't speak to me for two days. After that, she told me it'd be a waste to spend money in university just for me not to give him my all. Why are they always so loud outside? So she told me to still go to a college course, but I was free to explore. Glad to hear that. I really hope you guys can't hear that noise. And, well, I wanted to thank you for that. Me? If I just rushed headfirst in my original plan, things would have gotten ugly. And you were right, I would be hurting her for the sake of hurting. So, thank you. Don't worry about it. I'll leave before it's too late outside. And be careful. Oh, so sweet. Shut up. Hey, Jill, mind helping me out here? Sure. Make me a Bleeding Jane, please. On it. Bleeding Jane. One, three, three. Shut thunk. Nah, it took a lot longer than I thought. Thanks. Hey, Joe. Do you hate me? Hate is a harsh word. It's not against you directly, but uh, the fact that only I can see. Like I told you, if they wanted, they could see me. And why can I? You're the main character. Dunno. What are you? A cute girl. Right. You okay, Jill? You're making a lot of faces there. Hmm? Yeah, just remembering stuff. Could you give me a hand here and serve me a beer, please? Sure. Beer for Gil. Gotten so used to making beers at this point. Um. Thanks. Would you line up if I showed you I can interact with the environment? Maybe it'll spook me, but let's try. There. Can't see anything. You sure? Oh, that's neat. She changed my layout. Yep. Weird. Nobody expects the Dorth Quision. Dorth, 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 Ouch! It beats my tongue. Hmm. I can't believe I'm using the spare tongue so early in the night. Ahem. <clears throat> Honey. Uh, hey, Dorothy. Now I'm making a quick stop for a drink. Can I get a fluffy dream? Sure. Fluffy dream for Dorothy on the go. We are getting a lot of money, it seems, at least. Uh, she probably wants to be semi-drunk, so let's get her for aging. Thanks. Oh yeah, before you leave. What, are you guys throwing a New Year's party too? Yep. Sure, I'll be here then. Hmm. Well, I've got things to do, so... You do? Who does what? Sorry, I sneezed. Weird sneezes. Anyway, I'm out for now. 
Oh yeah, Joe. Take care of Becky, please. Hmm. Man, she was in a rush. Okay, fuck that noise. Fireworks are sold out everywhere. I'll need to get them through more shady movies. She's gonna buy them from the internet. She'll find them and post all the rest to burn. I'll make sure there's an extra fire extinguisher at hand. Please? Well, I guess that's it for today. You sure you're fine? I am, don't worry. Hey, Gil, Jill. Mind if I ask a silly question? You've seen my clients. You can assume I don't mind silly questions. Silly answers can get on my nerves, though. Sorry, what'd you want to ask? Do you know why they call them cat boomers? I mean, I guess their second set of ears look like cats, but the word boomer seems so out of place. Not so much when you consider it's not them, but their parents who called them such. Oh? Let's go a bit back first. You do know why cat boomers look like that, right? Because they went through some anti nanomachine injection treatment while they were still a fetus, right? It's called a Yamazaki Rovina treatment. Or was it the Romaniko Yada treatment? The Roma. It's called the calcification procedure. It's not only the first successful genetic treatment on fetus, but also the first way to fight nano machine injection. Moreover, that research had a bit of a rocky story. Funding got caught in a cut in the middle of it, a crucial point that could make or break the whole thing. Not to mention, the Zibetsu Corp's record are not addressing nano machine injection at all. The rest of the research was funded by Maki Stenovich. Was it Stanovich? Let's call him Stanovich for now. He's a businessman whose unborn daughter got, got diagnosed with early nail machine rejection. Stanovich found the research and thus removed her. His wife offered herself and her daughter as test subjects. Of course, the experiment was a success. The girl, Sevilla Stanovich, didn't die. She became a living testament of a scientific breakthrough. But then the story of how things played out for Sevilla got sensationalized in the media and created a weird fad. Parents made their unborn children go through a cavification procedure, even if they had no uh, ailments at all. All because one particular girl whose life got saved through media became, uh, got saved through treatment, became a media darling for a bit. For a bit. A whole generation of kids with these cat-like protrusions got born, and their parents got called cat moons. The generation of parents obsessed with these cat-like features. The fad quickly passed, but the term remained in use. Eventually, cat boomer just started being used for people with the protrusions instead of their parents. You keep calling them protrusions, why is that? Because that's what they are. Eh? You didn't think those things in their heads were ears, right? Sure, they can be moved because they're somehow connected to the facial and ear muscles. Thus, they can move like a cat and react to their mood. But in the end, they're just appendages with no real function. Huh. Still surprises me a bit, though, that the biggest mutation they got to the treatment is just that. Those ears are a small miracle on their own. People have been born with no eyes for less intrusive procedures. You really thought they were functional ears, huh? Let's say I learned quite a bit today. Thank you. Don't worry. I feel like I should apologize for talking so much instead. And keep in mind, I'm fucking up the terms. I don't want you saying something that uh, someone got protrusions because of cavitation procedure. I'll keep it in mind. Wait. What? Yeah, the guy's name was Stanovich. Hey, I just remembered Sevilla St uh, Stanovich was around my age, and when I was a teen, there were TV sh uh, specials featuring her. And I just remembered that I had the biggest crush on her. Now that I think about it, that crush had me very confused back then. And did you need to shout just now? Sorry. In any case, I'm out for the day. Alright, careful out there. Uh, 1700 yeah we sir we absolutely have absolute we do not have enough money for that we would need to make 3600 in one day <laughs> no possible way we're getting that much money so we shall see what happens uh, next episode because we're running out of time so hopefully you guys enjoyed this if you guys did feel free to hit that follow button always happy to see more folks joining uh, the chat um, always happy to see you guys coming back in. We do a stream every Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday at 7 o'clock p.m. PST. And every other week, um, in starting in two weeks, uh, we'll be doing, uh, D&D as well. D&D 5E, uh, thing called Shifting Fates. So if you guys are interested in that, feel free to hit that uh, follow button, and we shall see all of you fine folks on another episode. Bye!